Hey guys, Rich here at RC Informer. Today I got a quick flight demo of the all new FMS 1500 millimeter P47 Thunderbolt, guys. Uh, this is a six cell powered airplane. Um, it's just a really sweet flying airplane. I got it on a telemetry module, which I'm gonna show here to Steve. Steve, take a look at that. Uh, I'm running a 5000 milliamp six cell pack in this thing. So um, we'll see how the flight, uh, how much power we have left at the end of the flight. But it's, you seem to get a really decent flight time out of the plane. And uh, you also get uh, uh, quite a bit of power out of, it, out of this thing. All right, here we go. Taxiing out. We got traffic here, guys, and we're flying in combat conditions. There's a lot of wind here, so we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. Quick aileron, elevator check. I'm running about 70% on the elevators. And for the ailerons, I actually bumped them up to 125. So there was a lot of aileron throw uh, from stock, uh, just so I get some good roll out of it. Anyway, here we go. You ready, Steve? Yep. All right, there's some traffic out here. I gotta watch out for them. So here we go. There's a little plane in front of me there. Let me let him. Uh, let me let him land. That little guy there. He's taking off. No, he's landing again. Well, here I'll drive around a little bit here. This is a real nice airplane, guys. Scale four bladed prop. You can see those inner gear doors. Really nice. Um, the Razorback makes it a lot faster. I got all the ordnance off the airplane right now. Um, just so it gets a little bit more flight time and a little more speed, a little less drag. All right, Steve, it looks like he's landed now, so here we go. Get this thing on the center line here as best we can. Easing that power in and really staying on that rudder. There we go. Get it up nice on two wheels. I'm about half throttle now and it lifts off. All right, gears up. I did that takeoff without any flaps at all. Um, Again, with these foam, war foam warbirds, the uh, flaps really have a tendency to get the plane uh, kind of light in the tail on takeoff, and that kind of loses your, uh, your tailwheel rudder control. So anyway, taking off without flaps is really a good way to go. But anyway, I'm coming by slow here, Steve. Kind of over the runway here a little bit. Kind of go out here, just doing a turn out front. I'm going to put the uh, flaps down here and see if I give you kind of a slow pass right over the runway. It is a little windy, so I'm kind of taking it easy with it here. Power's coming into about half for this. Just kind of slowly by. I kind of do a circle out front. I'm going to get kicked in the tail here with a tailwind, so I'm going to kind of pick it up a little bit. But you can see here it slows down really, really nicely here. Just kind of easing that power in a little bit. Getting it slow over the runway. Just a real nice flying plane. All right, Steve, I'm going to go vertical with it. Power's coming in, flaps are coming up, and it's just going to go up and up and up. Lots of power, guys. You can tell this thing is six cell powered. I'll kick the rudder around, roll it a little bit, and recover here from this dive. Lots of speed, lots of power. Again, I got a low rate on this elevator, again, about 70%. I'll come by real fast here, right over the runway. Nice and stable, all the way to the end, half cubinate at the end, rolling around. Again, lots of aileron rate in there, down to the other end. Do a half cubinate at this end as well, rolling around, correct back to the runway, a little presentation pass here. This thing moves right along, guys, remember it's only about 10... Uh, 10 centimeters bigger than the 1450 millimeter warbirds that FMS makes. And it's uh, six cell instead of four. So it, it moves right along and being a Razorback, the, the air leaves this thing a lot faster than the, uh, than the bubble top. So it just moves right along. Outstanding. All right, Steve, let's see if I can fly this upside down for everybody here a little bit. Down below the runway a little bit. It's kind of nice to have that. This runway sits up on a little bit of a hill, so it's kind of nice to be able to fly sort of below the runway. Outstanding. Digging this thing. It's all right, get back there. Yep. This thing's kind of tough to film sometimes, guys. I'll come by slow for you here, Steve, again. Clean.
There we go. I'm gonna go back to the other end, Steve, give you another inverted pass again. We'll try that again. Let's see, Let's see if I can get a little bit more over the runway this time around. All right, here we go, upside down. Outstanding. Tracks really nicely, guys. Outstanding. All right, Steve, I'm gonna drop the gear, put some flaps in. See if we can get some touch and goes going on. The wheels are really nice on this thing. There's a lot of suspension in the gear on this thing. Bringing it into about half power. Full flaps are in. See if we can do a little touch and go right outside here with it. There we go. Outstanding. The plane's real nice. Power's coming in. Gear and flaps are coming up. Straight up. Straight up. And it goes and goes and goes. Power's coming off. Just let it fall. Outstanding. Another fast pass here. Guys starting some turbine, messing up my video. Alright, they couldn't have waited five seconds for me to finish this, could they? Oh, here we go. Coming to the other side. Guys, get really started here. I'll bring this thing in. Here we go, Steve. I'm gonna peel away. All right, flaps are coming in. Gears coming down. We'll do a full stop landing out front here, guys. Just a nice flying model, guys. Just excellent. We'll bring this on in. Power's about half. Got a little bounce there. It recovers from it well. There we go. Flaps coming up so the tail settles. All right, there we go. We had a little windy here, guys. Taxi this thing on back here. Just a real nice airplane, guys. Just a nice flying model. Anyway, guys, check it out. The uh, FMS 1500 uh, millimeter uh, P47 Thunderbolt. And uh, really quick, guys, I'm gonna get Steve to kind of zoom in here on the telemetry you can see how long that flight was i only used 2200 milliamps of a 5000 so this plane will fly pretty much kind of all day long team what, what's the what's the timer you got there steve how much on the timer 740. wow see so it'll go a long long way and i was kind of modulating throttle going fast going slow with it but uh anyway guys uh thanks for uh, checking out uh, rc informer check it out the fms 1500 millimeter p47 razorback Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, we'll see you next time.